Hi, I'm Ryan Rungi with AECTEarthBlock.com. Today we're doing a little something different that we haven't done before. We're making 12% cement stabilized blocks. Normally we do about an 8%, which is just enough to make it waterproof, make them impervious to freeze thaw. These blocks, we are souping up to more of a 12% cement ratio uh, because we're gonna be putting in a driveway here, an asphalt driveway, but it's gonna have an earth block border. We want those blocks that are gonna be driven over and rained on and frozen over and over again that they're going to take a little more abuse than than these blocks say in the wall of our garage which you know we put a we put a roof on it obviously and then we put a clear masonry sealer on it so these blocks are more or less protected from the weather rain can hit it but it's not going to soak into it versus these blocks that are going to be laying down on the ground are gonna take a lot of moisture from the ground just wicking up and rain and freeze and snow and, and even driven upon. So our idea is that we're gonna put 12% cement and it's gonna make these blocks that much stronger and make them last that much longer versus if we put this type of block with the 8% cement, those might only last, you know, 10 years. Um, but with these, we figure that they're gonna be lasting a long, long time, maybe you know, for decades, hopefully. But it's kind of an experiment, so we're gonna find out. People are always asking us, can you use earth blocks as pavers? And we believe you can if you put enough cement. It's kind of a necessary evil, unfortunately, but still a relatively small amount, 12%, versus probably over 20% in a normal paver that you might buy at the store. You really can't tell the difference on these blocks as they come out of the machine, to be honest, just by looking at them. Here's some, these, Lighter colored ones are the ones I made yesterday, so they've had a chance to dry out a little bit, and that's that's probably gonna be more the, the look of what these blocks are gonna take on. You can already tell they're starting to harden up nice. Um, it's just, people get confused. The, the cement doesn't take hold automatically. Well, these blocks are still fresh, they're still wet, and they're still kind of soft. You gotta a little bit baby them to the pallet. The cement's not gonna do its thing until at least 24 hours later and then these are going to continue to harden these are ones some other ones i made yesterday in this pallet so these are wrapped and and they're going to cure over time you can see the moisture in there and they're going to be able to just slowly dry out over the next few weeks and then they're going to be nice and ready for um for their application so that's just something a little different we're doing today we're cranking these blocks out with this 18 year old machine here, this AECT 3500. And it's not missing a beat as usual. Got some pretty good blocks coming out. Thanks a lot. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and um, check out aectearthblock.com when you have a chance. Thank you.